Behind the scenes of private jet travel, the ultimate in luxury transportation. Did you know that Flight Center can book private jets? Travel experts have some great stories to tell, from booking trips to Costa Rica so a customer can view a future home, to arranging a luxury flight to Ibiza, to flying a family to St. Lucia for a spontaneous beach vacation. Hello friends. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Many travelers are curious about flying privately, and one of the biggest questions people have about private jet travel is what the in-flight experience is like. Today we are going to discover behind the scenes of private jet travel, the ultimate in luxury transportation. But what we really want to know is what it's like to fly a private jet while dispelling any myths that go along with this high-class form of transportation. Is it only for the rich or the famous? Is it true that they are slower than commercial flights? Are toilets really as big and beautiful as you think? Watch till the end, if you are curious. There are a lot of pros in private jet travel. They are personal by name, every detail is designed to ensure maximum discretion. Upon arrival at the terminal, you are seconds away from boarding the plane, and upon boarding you can relax in complete privacy. There will be uncompromised comfort, it goes without saying that the journey is as important as the destination when you fly in a private jet. The highest level of service, exquisite interiors, and proposed fine dining options mean you can enjoy an experience designed to exceed every expectation. They will serve safe hands, reputable private jet operators have impeccable safety records, enforcing safety management systems that can easily rival any commercial airline. Additionally, they hire only the best pilots through a rigorous selection process, so you can be sure that you are in the safest hands. It will save you time. Queuing for security, immigration, boarding, and baggage claim means wasting valuable time. You still have to go through the same process, x-raying your bags, etc. If you use a private terminal or a fixed base operator, it means a private jet terminal at an airport, this can only be expedited by a few people. Minutes, no queues, no holds, no hassle. You can get fast and efficient service. The higher cruising altitude of private jets compared to commercial aircraft means increased speed and reduced congestion, getting you where you need to be faster. There will be unrivaled access. Commercial airlines serve around 550 airports. A private jet can land more than 5,000. Not only are you more likely to find a departure airport closer to home, but you'll also have access to parts of the world that might otherwise be inaccessible by air. It will be super flexible. Flying in a private jet puts you in control of your schedule. Meetings in different cities become a breeze and can accommodate sudden changes even when you're already in the air. Of course, it's not that much expensive. In fact, chartering a private jet can be surprisingly cost-effective, especially when time is of the essence and flexibility is at a premium, such as a roadshow, or when embarking on a multi-leg trip such as flying to an unserved destination. Designated Operators Renting as part of a small group spreads the cost while allowing you to use a smaller, less expensive aircraft. Additionally, if you can take advantage of a one-way empty leg, charter costs are often significantly lower. The range of industries that use private charters is incredibly diverse, with traditional clients such as high net worth individuals, big businesses, sports teams, and the film and music industries. However, we have identified a number of flights for medical emergencies as well. Even airline charters, when an aircraft is sick, often engineers and replacement parts must be flown in at short notice. In these cases, a client will need those resources airborne within just a few hours. Dining options depend on a number of factors. First, there's the size of the plane, small planes don't have the facilities to prepare hot meals. Second, the duration of the flight, if a flight is too short, there is not enough time to provide a meal. Ultimately, passenger preferences matter. If the necessary facilities are available, catering can usually be tailored to whatever passengers want. As a rule of thumb, available dining options depending on aircraft size are. If it is a light jet, you can get snacks up to cold meals. If it is a medium jet, you can get snacks and cold meals. Some may be equipped with an onboard microwave for heating food. If it is a large slash heavy jets, you can get usually equipped with a full galley, capable of catering concurrently with long scheduled services. The seat depends a lot on the type of aircraft you rent. Smaller planes, like air taxis, are designed to seat between 4 and 6 passengers for journeys between 1 and 3 hours, so lie-flat seats are out, but they'll usually be more comfortable than your regular schedules. 
Service however, the bigger the plane, the more space you get, and the more luxurious the seats. It also depends on the configuration the owner has chosen, just because you have two aircraft of the same make and model, doesn't mean they will necessarily be able to accommodate the same number of passengers. Wearing a seatbelt is a safety standard across the aviation industry, especially during takeoff and landing. Again, the size of toilets depends entirely on the size of the aircraft, these can vary from emergency facilities to fully enclosed bathrooms similar to those found on a commercial aircraft. Some smaller aircraft used for short hops are not equipped with these facilities, it is best to check with your charter advisor if this is a requirement. Why choose to fly private? The main reason is the freedom that comes with a private jet charter. Everything from the plane's schedule to the interior can be customized to suit your stay, making it worth the price of flying privately. Most people are familiar with commercial flights, including rigid schedules, potential delays, cramped seats, and the many headaches that come with it. Those considering the private jet lifestyle may be excited about the benefits of a customized flight. Beyond the benefits, novice flyers may still have questions about what it's like to fly privately. Individuals or companies schedule private flights through a charter company. Many charter companies have their own aircraft, while others rent aircraft. Private flights can be customized to fit your schedule, unlike bare leg flights that rely on predetermined routes. Empty leg flights are flights that go to a destination and carry passengers but not on the return journey. In some cases, customers can book flights on an empty leg at a discounted rate. But finding an empty leg flight that fits all of your travel criteria, including date, time, and location, is nearly impossible if you do the research on your own. Finding the perfect one-way flight can be painless if you work with an operator or broker who can help you find one-way flights that fit your itinerary. Private flights can be planned months in advance or even hours before departure. This allows you to plan ahead if you know when you need to travel or book a same-day flight in case of an emergency. Tickets are not required for private flights as you will receive an email itinerary from the charter company. The itinerary also includes information about the flight crew and pilot. While private jets are extremely convenient and can be booked on the same day, there are some time constraints. Private flights take time to prepare, so you can't get on a flight in minutes. Depending on where the plane is based, it may take you at least an hour to board and take off, but it may take a lot longer to give the plane and flight crew enough time to prepare the plane. Depending on the aircraft and route, private jets usually travel faster than commercial aircraft. After arriving at the airport, you quickly move from the terminal to the cabin and soon take off. Without giant, crowded runways and large passengers to deal with, private jets often get airborne faster than commercial jets. In the air, private jets tend to fly higher than commercial jets. This reduces the chances of dealing with air traffic and bad weather, both of which reduce the time it takes to arrive at the destination. One of the advantages of flying private is that the passenger has more input into the flight. This includes roads. Commercial airlines often can't take a direct route, but private jets aren't bound by the rules of larger airlines and airports. If you want to get to your destination quickly, ask for a direct route. If you want to enjoy less time on the plane, you can request a detour and enjoy the scenery longer. On private planes, you can bring your laptop, tablet, and phone and work in peace and comfort. Many private planes also offer Wi-Fi. If you need the internet to function or if you plan to spend the flight browsing the web, you'll want to request a flight with Wi-Fi capabilities. Can private jets land anywhere? The short answer is yes, private charter jets have the privilege of landing at any airport in the country. Movies and TV shows paint a vivid picture of the private jet experience, and they're not far off. Private airlines offer more convenience and luxury, which many people appreciate when flying. Thanks for watching, follow for more.